I'm Spokane City Council President Brian Beggs. Uh, welcome to the Council Recap. At this meeting, uh, we passed several different things, uh, a wide range of things. First, we uh, signed a contract with Craft 3, which is going to provide loans to small businesses uh, in Spokane, and especially the smaller ones. And we passed a resolution that says, you know, the economic revitalization that the city's paying for, uh, it should go to smaller companies, uh, companies that aren't getting federal or state aid, companies that are located in lower income neighborhoods. Uh, the federal and state government really have the big money, but what money we have, we want to make sure we're filling those gaps. Uh, we also were trying to help our restaurant and bar owners. Um, there's, you're allowed to deliver food or do curb pickup uh, with beer and wine and bottles, but not mixed drinks. And so the hospitality folks asked that we would uh, weigh in on their behalf. And so we approved a letter to the Liquor Control Board to ask them to let these uh, businesses supply uh, mixed drinks in bottles uh, for as long as the crisis goes. And then we also uh, passed another letter to help uh, Avista. Avista is trying to electrify our entire transportation network in Spokane, but they need the approval of the Utilities uh, Commission for the state. And we really endorse that. It makes for cleaner air, which has been shown in the COVID times to really reduce the death rate for people who have COVID, just a little bit cleaner air. So we wanted to support Avista doing that. And in the future, we're gonna be looking for having superchargers all around the city where people can um, electrify their vehicles and go about their business with no emissions. We also approved a moratorium on impact fee exceptions. When people build houses or uh, commercial buildings in certain parts of the city, they have to pay a small fee for every extra car trip it causes. And then we use those to build uh, traffic lights and fix streets. So we also allow to ask for an exemption if you're gonna really help some city goal. But we don't have the plan yet on how that's gonna work. So we just put it on hold for a few months while we figure out that plan and then we can deploy it so everyone has a fair chance at that. We're not holding our study session this week, uh, but we will be back next week and I hope you'll tune in. Brian Begg, City Council President. Stay strong, stay healthy.